Dear students, we shall now go through an overview of international business. I shall be presenting a crisp understanding of what are all the topics that are covered in this MOOC on international business. Our course objective is to familiarize students with the concepts, importance and the analytical basis of international business as a discipline, as a course, as a paper as you might like to call it. We would also look into India's involvement with the global business and what is the new international business environment. Now, let us have an overview of international business. This MOOC on international business aims at equipping the students with the essential knowledge related to trade, international finance and foreign investment activities across national borders. The coverage includes the impact of globalization and the nature of international business versus domestic business. The course also covers the study of the complexity of international business. Let us try to understand through this visual representation the nature of international business. Domestic business includes all the business transactions conducted within a border of a particular nation or a commercial entity. Whereas, international business includes all the commercial activities conducted beyond national boundaries. International business includes import-export, licensing and franchising, as well as foreign investments. It helps nation to gain foreign currency, whereas while doing business domestically, firms earn domestic currency only. Both domestic and international business create employment opportunities. True international business firms can earn higher profits than operating in domestic environment. International business provides an opportunity to firms to share latest technology worldwide. It also results in cross-border cooperation and agreements because of healthy political relations among nations. Further, the new international business environment which includes the economic, cultural and politico-legal environments will be discussed. An overview of theories of international trade are then laid out. Another important related aspect is trade policy or commercial policy instruments such as tariffs and non-tariff barriers. Since there are two major aspects in this subject called international business, trade and finance, we would also be studying the balance of payments which deals with the accounting of trade at the national level. The international business environment is dominated by international organizations like WTO, UNCTAD and OPEC. Another dimension of the international business is the regional economic cooperation bodies like NAFTA, EU, ASEAN and SARC. The functions of IMF and World Bank are also a part of the study of the international financial system and these aspects have also been dealt with very clearly in this MOOC. Foreign exchange markets and risk management are an essential part of international business and are clearly related to the foreign trade and foreign investment flows. Therefore, the 
risk management aspects of these markets, the foreign exchange markets are also a part of this course on international business. Let us visualize what risk means in the context of international business operations. Imagine the case of a local Indian importer and a foreign. Let us say US supplier. If the importer pays in the currency of the supplier US dollars, then it is the importer who carries the risk or he has to buy dollars in order to pay the supplier. Alternatively, if the importer pays in its own currency, that is Indian rupee, then the exporter is the one who carries the risk or then it is up to him to change the Indian rupee into dollars. There are certain issues in international business like outsourcing and its potential for India which have also been discussed in this context. In the Indian context, there is an adequate emphasis on the foreign trade and investment promotion measures. Financing of foreign trade and payment terms including the source of trade finance and the arrangements like factoring and forfeiting services have also been discussed in this MOOC and are very important as far as the understanding of trade finance is concerned. Let us have a brief view of how factoring services are managed and how it will help international business. Two-factor system. It is the most common and effective factor arrangement. In this case, an import factor and an export factor simultaneously perform factoring services. Export factor transfers all information to the import factor. The import factor provides all credit-related information about the customer. Export factor helps in financing and import factor helps in collection and sends the amount back to the export factor. With all these topics in store for you, I am sure you would be able to most eagerly study this exciting subject called international business through this MOOCs that has been prepared for you. All the best.